and uh, we'll get to the final news item that has my interest in the roundtable, and that is that the Mafia trilogy was announced on May 19th, and that trilogy will include a remaster of Mafia 2, uh, the definitive edition, a definitive edition of Mafia 3, but what I care about the most, a remake of Mafia 1, an Mm -hmm. Xbox original classic, a gangster tale as old and romantic as time. Um, I understand that on the last level, I said, you know, hey, Bethesda or whoever else, stop doing these remasters and these remakes, right? But that's mostly because those games are newer. And honestly, <laughs> they ain't worth it, all right? But Mafia 1 is is worth it in every single sense. The storytelling, the entire Mafia trilogy is known best for its storytelling. Um, with Mafia 3, not so much the game mechanics got repetitive. It was really buggy and broken when it first came out. Um, but the stories are the characters. The world is always fleshed out and great. The ending of Mafia 2, if you guys haven't played these games and know the endings, guess what? I don't care. I'm talking about it anyway. All right. And my the ending of Mafia 2, where I forgot the care, I forgot your character's name. Um, not your character, but your character's friend, because it's you and your friend. You guys get into the life, and there's a there's a scenario that sets up where you finish doing this last mission. The boss is like, "All right, you redeemed yourself," and you guys are driving, and you're in one car, your friends in the other car. You guys are in this convoy, and you think you're going back, and then all of a sudden, there's a split in the road, and you go one way, and your friend's car goes the other way. Oh no! And you and you're like, oh. You're, <laughs> They're about to kill this SOB. <laughs> He's done so. Like, and obviously, and I'm not going to spoil the Mafia One ending. Um, and I'm not in the beginning or part of one of the missions in Mafia Two actually goes back to Mafia One. So the way that's been tied, and it's great. It, it's just overall, it's great. You get to be a gangster in 1910s, 1920s. It, you get to dress in the trench coat and the hat and you wear the Tommy guns and you speak like a wise guy and it's, Hey, <laughs> Oh, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, it's all that stuff. It's fantastic. Me. I love crime dramas, love crime drama movies. The, the Godfather is my favorite movie. The mafia scratches that itch better than any of the Godfather games. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Uh, the first Godfather game was ad. The second Godfather game was terrible. But guess what? The second God, the second Godfather game was a better version of Mafia Three. So that tells you what's <laughs> happening there. Um, All sorts of confused <laughs> right now. But. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm absolutely excited about that. I looked on Steam at the definitive editions. The definitive edition for Mafia Two was forty dollars, and I think for Three was forty dollars. Not happy about that. <laughs> that seems a little pricey to just upgrade some stuff. Right. But if they wanted to charge even $60 for the Mafia 1 remake, I'm all for that. I'm all for it. It's that good, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, it's way better than the other two games. And also, they're remaking the game from scratch. So, I get that. Okay. But this is a game that's probably 15 years old. So, I I get it. It makes sense to me. I think you just sold me on it. (laughs) There we go. 